Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for being angry at my husband for accusing me of tricking him with our child's birth certificate? My husband and I come from similar backgrounds with families living paycheck to paycheck and not many college graduates. We both have degrees and make significantly more than the rest of our families. When we got married, I was already a homeowner with a car. My husband, however, had a lot of debt and poor credit. It wasn't entirely his fault. He had significant student loans and often helped his family financially. He also has a DHD and mishandled some bills. I understood his situation but was anxious to help him become debt-free so we could have kids without financial burdens. He was earning $80 in K and I was making $100 in K. He moved in with me and we split expenses 50 to 50, except he didn't pay any rent. I covered the mortgage and home insurance since he's not on the deed, and I also paid extra toward his debt to help him pay it off early. His car loan is in my name and I also cover half of that. I do IT technical support and I got the opportunity to take a job that required 50% travel but paid a lot more. We together decided that I'd do this job for a few years to significantly shore up our savings and pay off a good portion of the debt. I did this job for a little over two years till I got pregnant and then took a lower paying job, 120k now, which doesn't require travel. The travel job paid more, but it was so hard on me I was traveling to the back ends of small towns where the big warehouses and data centers are located, and the job is physically demanding, pulling cables, moving equipment, working in very cold conditions. I was miserable in this job, and ended up with some back problems, but it was a sacrifice for our family. When I was eight months pregnant, my husband asked for a paternity test. It came out of nowhere and I asked him if he didn't trust me, and he said he did, but because I did so much travel he just needed some assurance for his peace of mind. He said his family and friends have asked him how he could be so sure of this pregnancy when I have been out of home for so many nights. It really broke my heart that I did so much for this man and didn't try to protect my assets or my money and he treats me like this. I got very hormonal and cried about it so he stopped pressuring me then. Now our son is three months old and he's back at it. He insists on the paternity test and won't sign the birth certificate otherwise. I told him his name is already on the birth certificate because we are married and I did the paperwork before they discharged us from the hospital. He didn't realize that would be the case and is furious thinking I tricked him. So here I am stuck with a man who doesn't love or trust me and is an idiot. His family is calling and pressuring me to let him do the test. My family is offended on my behalf but some mutual friends say a test is not a big deal. To me, it's a slap in the face after all I've done for him. A lot of people do a lot of things, but our relationship was supposed to be built on trust. That's why I took many financial risks for him. If he had said from the beginning that his trust was conditional, I wouldn't have been surprised. But he's okay with me paying so much for him, trusting that he won't cheat on me or leave me exploited, but he doesn't have to trust me. How is that fair? If he had discussed this before I got pregnant, it would have been different, and I probably wouldn't have reacted negatively. But to bring this up when I am about to give birth, that makes me not trust him. What do I get out of letting him insult me like this? One major issue on his credit report is because he co-signed a used car loan for his brother, who then flaked on payments. He helps with his parents' medical bills and phone bills regularly and pitches in when they run short on money for other bills. I don't stop him from that, but we've argued about him contributing to parties or vacations for them. There was a major fallout from his refusal to co-sign another sibling's rental application. He's fought his family directly, though. He didn't use me as a scapegoat, or blame me, I don't think. I saw him as a kind man who worked hard and took care of his family. I expected him to show the same loyalty to me since I am now his family. I thought I was doing my part, helping him out where he was vulnerable, and in turn I thought I'd have his support. When he first brought it up I was eight months pregnant, so need my participation for the test. Now the baby is always attached to me, so maybe he didn't think he could do it without my noticing. He could have waited a year or so, but I guess patience for my sake is too much to ask. Update 
In my previous post, I asked about dealing with my husband wanting a paternity test. We did the test and got the expected results. He wanted a legally valid test, not a home test, which was much more expensive. He paid for it. We had to use an agency to swab samples and maintain a chain of custody. I was surprised and bothered that he had this planned, but he covered the high cost and it'd be in my interest to have a clear legal trail, so we did it. He's been over the moon since I agree, and I resent his happiness. He got an STI panel done, which was clean. He was surprised by my request, but didn't argue about it. He said it's just a test, no big deal. He was more resistant about a post nut and flat out refused to cooperate there. I gave up on that because I consulted a lawyer, and I can't get much from it anyway. Whatever I spend on him and his debt is gone, and I can't expect anything back. We live in a community property state. We argued a lot about separating finances, with him accusing me of trying to control him with money. He pointed out that we were a couple of years away from him becoming debt-free, and if I left it all on him, it would take him over five years. He doesn't understand how his lack of trust in me is comparable. He kept arguing that if he had more money, he'd spend it on me, and for me to use this now makes me a bad partner. He came around and agreed to contribute more to bills after seeing how cold my family has become toward him. I'm close to my family, and they had loved him, but this made them upset. My little sister was outright rude to him, which really got to him. He's the middle child and was frequently teased and bullied by his siblings. My sister was the only relative who loved him like an older brother and doted on him. My words didn't move him, but her behavior did. So now he'll be paying for his own car, contributing to insurance and covering his debt by himself. He still won't pay rent because he simply can't afford it. I wasn't asking to stop supporting his parents, and after all that, there's nothing left for rent. I wasn't thinking about divorce when I wrote the post, and I still don't want it. But I feel like I am falling out of love with this man. It's like the scales have fallen from my eyes, and all his faults that I minimized before now stand out glaringly. My mother is fully on my side, but advised me not to make any quick decisions. I don't know what I am going to do. He's trying to be helpful and a good partner, but it feels like an act. I still hope for a positive resolution, but I'm prepared for whatever the future holds. My journey with my husband has been full of ups and downs, and I'm trying to stay strong for the sake of my family and myself. Only time will tell if we can truly overcome this and rebuild the trust that has been broken.